This is the key assessment three uh, core concepts and the option uh, reset paper. We've got a graph here, uh, massive product formed. So this is our product, an enzyme controlled reaction at two different temperatures and this is time. So this graph is a typical time um, graph. Uh, at the start we've got the substrate and then at the end we've got product. So substrate is turning into product. Calculate the rate of reaction. Rate in the first 10 minutes at 30. So we are looking at and choose the right curve, so it's our 30 curve there and first 10 minutes so we are looking at this here and the rate is something over time it's always something over time and it's going to be the mass of product form per minute so 10 minutes, there's our 10 minutes there. And up from 10 minutes. And I'm just going to put that line across where it meets this axis. And what's the number here? Well, that's 3, so this would be 2.246. So now your calculation is um, we get 2.6 in 10 minutes or how much would you get in one minute and you could actually do that in your head and you need to show your work in there. The initial rate was slower at 30 than 50 so that's just a simple temperature, effective temperature on enzymes so it's slower at a lower temperature. What's the theory behind that? That's straightforward enough and explain the shape of the curve between 20 and 60 minutes at 50 so now we are looking at the 50 I'll do this in blue the 50 and between 20 and 60 minutes so between 20 and 60, so you're looking at this bit of the curve here. And what happens, it appears to be, oops, sorry, 50, <laughs> wrong one, what an idiot. 20 years, this one, 20 and 50, there you go. So we're looking at this bit of the curve here. What does it appear to be doing? It appears to be levelling off below this other line. That's the key thing there. So at a higher temperature, what tends to happen? And that's just a bit of enzyme, a bit of enzyme theory again. Part C. Here's an enzyme and catalyzes the conversion of ethanol to ethanol. So this here is our substrate and this is our inhibitor. How does the, our inhibitor inhibit this substrate? Well hopefully you, you can look at these and you go well it's a similar shape. It's not the same shape, it's a similar shape. So that should be one of your forms of, of inhibition and then just, just say how that works. So the one to do with the similar shape. 